kind of in closing with this. It's not devaluing. It's the fact that we're taking a sacred experience and turn it into content. And that's okay. my that's the my main crux of it. OK. And then, like I said, we even got men going through this shit now. We didn't have a reverse of the situation. So did you see the video? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't feel bad for him. So I'm dropping my son off for his uh, his mom's week. She is not answering the phone. Video, I mean, FaceTime, phone call, text message, doorbell at all. It's her week. And I'm remembering that when I talked to an officer on, uh, on a non-emergency line, the officer told me, I can't make her take him on her week. She can make me take him on my on my weeks, which I don't mind having my son. He's back there. So. And if I have him, she can come get him from me. How backwards is that? I have sole legal custody. I call all the shots. She said in court this past Monday, she didn't want nothing to do with him yet again for the third time in court, fourth time to my knowledge, one of them was through text message. The other three were in court. She stood up in court the first time when I got, when I was gave, given sole legal custody on July 8th, 2022, she stood up in court and told the judge she don't want nothing to do with me or Maverick. So I'm at this point where I know if I decide not to ever let her see him again, according to the, the, the court documents, I would be wrong. And we understand if the shoe was on the other foot, they'll be up my ass like a bicycle with no seat. Excuse my language, ma'am. Yeah. So, also in court, they pushed it out because she didn't want to take, she didn't want to take the parenting class. She said it was a money issue. Okay, yeah, I'm in arrears because she griped about uh, child support. Hoping she was gonna get 1500, she only getting 137, whoop the freaking do. I talked to CP child support and they said, just go ahead and knock out three more payments. You being current, you okay, you good. Fine, cool, it's fine and dandy. Her on the other hand, yeah, I was snooping. I did. She's somewhere on the island, perhaps. Maybe she pulling, you know, one of them stunts where she went there a month ago and now she's posting it and legit, she's probably in the house just chilling not answering her phone, not fulfilling her parental obligation per court order. And so if you really don't want, if you really don't want our son, yo, just, just do not come back, bro. Like just do not. He didn't even want to get out the car. When he seen where he was at, he did not want to get out the car. He did not want to go to the door. I will not make my son do something he do not want to do. And he didn't want to be around his mother like that. That's cool. I document everything when he's of age and he's able to understand son here it is plain and simple i'm not gonna say nothing i'm gonna let the evidence show you so i'm very upset i want to co-parent in health in a healthy manner going through the courts it's taking a little bit too long and i i, I also realized that if i reacted the way she did we already know what the results would be so uh I'm gonna continue to take the high road. At times I'm like, ooh, I wanna do this. Yet yeah, no, I'm still gonna take the high road and do what's right for my son and by my son. Because that, that guy next to be here at all. Look at him back there, just chilling. So he See, okay, so y'all just saw, he was kind of complaining his, you know, about what was going on, his, his baby mama. Apparently he um, left her after eight months mm -hmm. uh, while she was pregnant, came back, into her life mm -hmm. got custody of the kid easily because she didn't want it <laughs> she she gave up on the custody battle yeah she gave she up was on the like, custody battle. go ahead if and, you want your son so bad take him and he got the son and now he on the internet crying because she don't want to be a mama yeah so she's missed the last like two or three um scheduled visits that so she, she's supposed to come get him and she was like nah i'm it's good summertime, keep nigga. your son it's summertime mm -hmm. nigga what you thought this was i feel like he definitely tried to get full custody as like a 
a control like gotcha Man, bitch no, no we can't gotcha bitch no. and then she was like gotcha nigga you're a single father <laughs> see now the only thing i don't like about that is is when we was just talking about shawty everybody was killing random man for atlanta and his reckless behavior and all this other shit like that but it comes to when it comes to it it seems like oh the kid is not what's important it's just getting over on the parent who y'all don't like because it's, in this situation, it's no, just in this situation, getting over on men. My thing is this: in this situation, yes. Look at yeah, you're right. Because this thing in this well, situation, women to win. He because kind of was slick, legit. You got pregnant. Niggas was calling him a deadbeat for eight months. How are you a deadbeat? And the baby ain't here. Mm-hmm. You not no deadbeat. He went out there and said, "No, I'm not dealing with you. You can go through your pregnancy if that's what you claim it is. Once the baby gets here, we'll do a DNA test." He found out it was his. He did the most manly shit you could do. He took the kid. And now, when she don't want to step up and do her part with it, now it's not a, oh, uh, look at this person not wanting to be a parent. Now it's just, oh, sucker, you did, look at your power trip. You trying to uh, take power away. Fuck all that. That nigga took custody of his kid, nigga. He, he got the right to now bitch at the, the person who ain't the custodial parent. That's his right as the custodial parent to shit on a non-custodial parent. I guess that's right, but also at the same time, I feel like I want men to be miserable. So, no, that's, be that's miserable. Fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Be that's miserable. Up. I don't know. But stop crying. After the, after but stop the, crying in your car, gentlemen. After the random man from Atlanta story, this was this was a feel good movie. <laughs> just, <laughs> y'all are sick, yo. That's all I'm saying. I was like, yes, I win. Let's just stop acting like people are doing this for altruistic reasons, and really they're just out here trying to play battle of the sexes with this shit. Nah, but on the, some real shit, children growing up in single parent homes is never is never a win. But it's still funny because it's not my life, <laughs> and I don't got no kids. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that's fucked up. That's fucked. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh shit! Y'all need to start. Y'all, y'all need to st- start killing these goddamn babies. Let's keep it a bean. Let's 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 kind of get into it then, because I, I I think that's that's something that's not being discussed here. Is at the end of the day, baby girl, you as the woman, as the incubator, not the incubator. Well, I mean, because all, all women women are the only people who get pregnant. Yeah, but it's just incubator. Sounds... Incubator covers everybody. Yeah, if you are the okay. incubator. You have the option, the right, and my belief, to not take that fetus to turn. Mm-hmm. And when you make that choice, people be like, oh, why does it always fall on the woman most of the time? Because you're the one who did it. You're the one that got to carry the baby for nine whole months. You like, sat with this loser's baby for nine months. It just sat in there swimming. And you let this loser genetic DNA fuse with yours. We got chromosomes mixing together. Okay, did y'all know that? Loser chromosome and bad decision chromosomes coming together. That's that don't look like a good future. That's not a good fusion. Niggas didn't touch the tips on the fusion, yo. We got the fat fusion. <laughs> like for real. We got a little fat goatin. Like it, it this is what happens. And my thing is this. I'm always I looked up Morgan's state. Morgan had 24 hours. All she had to do was a 24 hour counseling session to flush that kid. Mm-hmm. I'm always going to be looking into that, and I'm always going to be the biggest advocate of that. When Tennessee did that fuck shit with the, uh, you know, having to get a uh, a, a DNA, DNA test, test and stuff for, you know, to get put on, not put on child support, just to be have your name on a birth certificate, which is not a problem. I don't think that's an issue, but you also can't have abortions being illegal. You can't sit here and say these women can't flush these damn kids. <laughs> but these niggas can potentially skirt responsibility. I'm not saying niggas gotta be super dad. Nigga, you gotta pay that check. You don't need to go in them arrears. Pay that little money, and that's your responsibility. Yeah. That's what the government say. That's what's agreed upon. You ain't gotta be around. You gotta see them. You ain't gotta do all the other shit. Cool. If you don't wanna be that kind of dad, that's your individual decision. Pay that check. Pay that girl. You're gonna have to give her the money. And then women, y'all can't, you don't be number six. Don't be number six, seven, five. Don't do that. Because when you that, them checks are small. That shit start from the first woman who files. Yeah. And, then it's and less everything and less. goes decreasingly down. So when you number seven, you getting $75. You scraping and scratching to feed your child and you could have just got an abortion. Just had to flush it, yo. And then all you had to do is forget about it, man. I know, man. 
I, I, I know a woman. It's it's it's. I difficult. know a woman. It is difficult. You know, it's not just like an easy, trivial thing. But like, get some therapy. Like, you'll be okay. It's better to have the little bit of emotional trauma from having a, an abortion than the the fuck emotional turmoil that having a child causes. See what? And I, when you're not prepared for it. I knew somebody who got pregnant when they were still, you know, college age. Mm-hmm. Got pregnant by someone who they were with, but. They knew that this person's capacity was limited. And they made a decision. And now that person is living the life they want to live. They are with the person they want to be with. They have the family they want to have. All because they were able to make a decision that benefited them. Mm -hmm. That person, if they would have did that, probably wouldn't have this situation they are now. And you know why I think, you know what fucked me up? And why I think I I think so, you can say trivial of it in a way. Is because my parents took me to a sex ed uh seminar when i was a kid right and so the whole time they show in uh you know stds uh it's all pussy and all that other stuff like that they're showing all the gross stuff and then they talk about pregnancy at the end and they actually show multiple abortions and i'm like in middle school watching this and i think for a lot of people it had this effect where it was like oh that's so cruel that's so harsh i could never do it and for me I was like, oh, is that easy? <laughs> <laughs> is that That's easy? It? That's all you got to do? And it's over? I'm like, yo, you just, she just got on her back and he sucked it out. It's done. That's all it's super easy. Little nigga just went swimming <laughs> through the plastic tube and it was done. She Not was cleaned up. It, it wasn't even little nigga yet. Yo, I'm like, yo, that's that's amazing. I think that's what, what, what fucked me up. Where it's like, I'm just thinking, oh, it's all this is a little flush. It's a little little procedure. I didn't know y'all y'all got scarred by it. They didn't show that in the video. Yeah, dude, definitely that happens also. Y'all just get, y'all just be thinking about it too much, yo. Just think about it like, yo, like nigga caught me slipping, yo. 